Alright, so if you've ever watched a Hikari video, you can tell off the bat that they tend not to strafe. Scrim fan and many other scrim players follow the same pattern of straight lining their opponents before starting to strafe. So now it's time to answer the question that you are probably asking yourself. Why don't scrim players strafe? The simplest answer I can give is knockback. If you strafe, your momentum is pulled from going forward into your A or D key to strafe left or right. Now if you know how knockback works, if somebody is not running at you, they're going to take a lot more knockback. If they're sprinting at you, they're going to take a lot less. If instead of running straight at you, they're using part of their momentum to go sideways, they're going to take more knockback. So SwimFan72 and Hikari especially both tend to strafe less and focus all their momentum on going forward to deal as much knockback and to take as little as possible. They then occasionally strafe as you're being comboed to avoid hits that may end the combo. The fact that scrim players don't strafe as much is the main cause on why they don't take as much knockback. I tried this method out myself a little bit and I failed it completely. I don't know if this is just not made for butterfly clicking as most of the people that use this are jitter clickers, but it's fair to say that I'm probably going to stick to strafing myself. If you fight one of these extremely talented scrim players, uh, your best luck is to pray.